so in case you have some apps missing from your Garmin Forerunner 255, then I'll be showing you how to add them or how to uninstall them if they're actually third-party applications that are missing. Now, uh, if you go into the main uh, page and you, scro and you scroll through your uh, system apps, if you go to add, you can actually see other system apps that are, that are not necessarily in the first list. For instance, if you want e-bike uh, uh, tracking, you can add it there. Uh, don't save as favorite and it's going to be added to your list. Just uh, if you go back, just like that, save changes. There you go. You can see the e-bike has been added and now you can scroll and use that application. Now, if it's a third party application you want to install on the watch, then simply go to the Connect IQ application. So make sure you install that app. It's free on the App Store, so make sure you go ahead and install it. And once you install it, let me just quickly show you where it is on the App Store. There you go. There's the, con uh, the Connect IQ store. Make sure you install this app for free and then sign in with your Garmin account. And then once you do that, you can now launch uh, the app and then go to search, search for the app you want, or you can simply use these filters to search for the apps you want. All these are apps you can install onto your watch. Some are paid for, some are free, really depends on what you want. So for instance, if you find an app like this one, which apparently measures temperature, simply tap on it and then tap on install. And it's gonna ask for some permissions. You might need to allow them and then wait for the app to be installed onto the watch. So it's currently installing, as you can see. And so once the app has finished installing, you should now be able to access it uh, from the watch. So I'll press the start button and then scroll through the list of available apps. And you can see our app, our temperature app is now on the watch. So you can go ahead and use it the way uh, it's meant to be used, I guess. But that's basically how to install apps on your Garmin Forerunner 255. Thanks for watching. Leave your comments and questions down below and good luck.